Keeping you informed, involved, in touch. This is News 3 HD at 10. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Carlson. And I'm Eric Franke. First tonight. It's been a year since the statewide smoking ban took effect. Despite a backlash from some, Governor Walker says the ban is working and it's here to stay. The night team's Andy Choi joins us now with more on how smokers and businesses are changing some habits, Andy. Yeah, Eric and Sarah, there's no doubt some will continue smoking, but the ban is making them think twice, all as businesses find new ways to attract customers. 13 years old, you know, peer pressure type thing. The pack a day habit started 40 years ago for George Smith, who says the ban is getting him to reconsider. The ban has cut down on my amount of smoking. You smoke a lot less when you have to go outside than if you're just sitting in a bar still for lighting up one after another. We're not like smoking like we used to. We're sitting outside in the cold in the winter and no, it does change it because you don't smoke so much as you did, so it's a good thing for me. The UW Center for Tobacco Research and Intervention says calls to its quit line rose sharply around the time of the ban. So it's not so much convincing people that it's harmful anymore. It's um, helping the people that are using tobacco to quit. Businesses like Middleton's Quaker Steak and Lube are taking hits, losing three to five percent of its profits since the ban. It's a bit of a thorn. You have to be a little creative, but luckily we have this great space out here that we were able to utilize. For smokers looking for free resources to quit, you can call the State Tobacco Quit Line. The number is 1-800-QUIT-NOW. All right, News 3's Andy Choi reporting. Andy, thanks a lot. You're welcome.